Hey everyone, I hope all of you are doing good. Today I'm going to talk about a question which has been recently posed to me by one of my associate. Like he was asking me that sir, what is the common ground which a police officer can take after the police officer produce a person before the magistrate? Obviously after the person arrest. Uh, let me tell you, whenever a police officer arrest a person on the basis of some suspicion or any reasonable ground, the police officer is duty bound to produce the person before the magistrate within 24 hours of his arrest. And after that, he have to seek the custody from the court that is called extension of police custody for the purpose of investigation. So uh, he was asking me about the ground which a police officer can take for the extension of custody. So whenever a person is arrested by a police officer and within 24 hours of his arrest, the police officer produces the person before the magistrate. The most common ground which he takes before the magistrate is that sir we did not get the enough time to investigate the accused person we need some more time to investigate him and there are some questions which we did not ask and we were not able to ask because of the lack of time so because of this particular reason because the magistrate also believes that 24 hours is not the enough time for a police officer to interrogate a person to ask the relevant questions from him so in most of the cases which i have seen personally so far that uh, the magistrate allows the police officer for the extension of police custody and the police custody can be extended up to 15 days and uh, in most of the cases the judges allows the police officer seven days police custody and if, if it uh, requires more then court allows seven days more custody then the person will be sent to judicial custody but it does not mean that in every case the police officer's submissions regarding the lack of time for the investigation survives in most of the cases I have also seen, I have also dealt with that we succeeded in that particular, those particular cases that the investigation is no more required in the case and the kind of questions uh, which are involved in the investigation does not require the attendance of the accused person and even if it requires the accused person is ready and willing to join the investigation whenever the investigating officer asks the accused person to come to the police station he will definitely reach out to the police officer so in those circumstances i have seen personally that magistrate do listen to the defense counsel as well but in most of the cases the magistrate allows the police officer for the extension of police custody because obviously the lack of time situation is there and uh, other things also involved like the discovery statement because the weapon is not discovered because uh, the identification is pending and because the witnesses are not uh, uh, testified in the police station so there are so many questions involved because of such particular reason the magistrate also allows the police officer for the extension of police custody so that is all i wanted to share i hope it uh, has helped you out in some way